Hi, in, in this video, I am going to suggest that you throw away most, if not all, of your portable power tool cases. Here's why. There's a lot of space being consumed by these cases that uh, is going to waste in your, no doubt, small shop that you don't have, or you don't have a lot of excess space to begin with. I have a small, well, I guess we all, we all have sh small shops. Even if we have a 2,000 square foot shop, we always want more. But I have a, about a 400 square foot um, shop. It's a two car garage. And um, it's consumed with a lot of, a lot of stuff. So I don't have a lot of uh, unused square footage in my shop. But I also have a lot of unused uh, cubic space that's unused. For instance, this, cab this cabinet right here doesn't consume a lot of square footage uh, and it consumes, uh, well, more cu uh, cubic space actually, this vertical volume here. Um, but all the space from here up to the ceiling is wasted space. I can't use it. Wherever I move this cabinet, uh, I lose the space above it. And that's pretty much the, uh, true with your shelving, whether it's open shelving or shelving in your uh, cabinets. Um, most cabinets will have two shelves. You'll uh, stick a can in the shelf and there might be uh, six inches above that can to the, to the next shelf that's empty and it's unused because you can't, unless you stack things on top of, um, on top of themselves, which uh, that, that, that becomes problematic. So there's a lot of, a lot of wasted vertical space in, uh, in most people's workshops. And I'm trying to correct that. So this cabinet here, which I made uh, many years ago, I, I made a, a few of these. They had open shelves. They had a, a, this design, I had a tall shelf and a shorter shelf below. And they were just meant to collect uh, whatever. I could put routers, uh, drills, um, any, anything I would just throw in there. But of course, there was a lot of wasted space. Uh, so recently, I've been converting these into drawer-based cabinets. In this particular case, I added two full extension drawers and partitioned them off and filled them with uh, power tools. And in so doing, I'm going to be able to throw away the cases for my, my uh, power tools. For instance, in this case, I have a port cable uh, biscuit joiner. Nice case, but uh, why do I need this in my workshop? I suspect most of you, like me, use your tools in your workshop primarily. Probably even if you're a professional woodworker, you would use, most of your tools are used in your workshop, uh, unless you're doing built-ins in which you um, are off-site, but um, other, otherwise your, your tools are in your workshop. Uh, sometimes I might take some tools into my house, but I can just carry the tool. I don't really need this case. And this particular case, probably half this probably consumes twice as much space as the biscuit joiner itself. And, um, and I have other, pretty much all, all the power tools that come with cases. That's, that's the same situation. Uh, so let me change the views here. And then I can show you uh, some of the tool cases that I'm going to be throwing away because they're now inside this, this uh, cabinet. Okay, here are uh, some of the cases that I'm going to be able to throw away because they now uh, reside inside this uh, cabinet, inside these drawers. I also have some additional uh, tools that didn't come in in uh, cases, which I'll, I'll also be showing you. Now this is a really waste, wa wasted uh, space, this uh, Sawzall cabinet. This thing, you know, the sawzall went in here and uh, 
this would be for, I guess, the cord and some uh, blades. A lot of wasted space in this cabinet. This is going out in the garbage. I have, uh, again, a biscuit joiner. This is another biscuit joiner, the original Porter Cable, which I, I belt driven uh, biscuit joiner, which I like and I still have. So that's going out in the garbage. Then I have um, a couple uh, Festool cases. Now, uh, people seem to love these, uh, these sustainers from Festool. I really like, like the Festool tools uh, myself, but I just don't understand the, the love fest that people have with these, um, these cases. They, in my opinion, they don't particularly hold the, hold the tools all that well because all these, all these cases, they have to, they basically have to, to maintain this form factor uh, so that they can all be stacked and you know you have you can have this wall of these uh, containers, uh, but because they have to maintain this form factor, the tools themselves I think are not uh, optimally stored within these cases. So I think there's a lot of wasted wasted space in these particular uh, boxes. I don't think they're particularly uh, um, protect the tools themselves. Now in this case. Uh, I would throw these away. I I have uh, I have no emotional attachment to these, but in this particular case, I one of these had the domino originally, and I had a lot of I have a lot of dominoes, and it just so happens that uh, both these can store all my my dominoes, uh, and in that case, there's really no wasted space because these are filled with dominoes, uh, so I'm I'm okay with. Uh, keeping um, these cases. Okay, now uh, let me uh, change the view again and we can go through the drawer and you can see how I've optimally packed power tools into these, uh, into these drawers. Let's begin with the bottom drawer. Now, uh, most of these tools, this, since this is a, a shallower drawer than the top one here, um, I didn't have to divide, I didn't have to divide up much of the vertical space, but I did make, make, uh, one tray support for this, one of my, uh, one of my corded drills. So I, obviously I can just access it directly, but if I want to get to my, uh, sawzall below, I just take, take this out and I just built a couple shelf supports or tray supports here and uh, my sawzall goes there and uh, this is my belt driven uh, biscuit joiner I have a palm, palm sander, sander here and an old um, belt sander goes here I have one two three four Five tools that sit in this drawer and um, optimally use the space. I could probably have uh, crammed in a few more tools if I really wanted to, but then if, uh, to get them out, it might have been like a puzzle. Uh, so I didn't want to go too crazy. Okay, let's take a look at the, the larger drawer. Now in this case, since this was a deep drawer, and if I had to do this again, if I knew that I was building this cabinet with the idea of, of drawers, I probably would have built three drawers. Because um, this isn't the most optimal to have this very deep drawer. But I built a tray for the top end, and you can see I have a couple random orbit sanders and a jigsaw in here. And to remove it, I just grab a tray like this, I move it out, and now I have access into uh, more tools down here. I have the other portable uh, biscuit joiner, 
I have my Festool half sheet sander and my domino. And I also built in this uh, storage section for the accessories that go with the domino. I have all the, the parts that came, came with the domino fit in their, their areas. I have some custom little spacers I made with PVC uh, for some specific uh, um, stock that I, I use the domino with. Uh, I drilled holes here to put the, the bits for the domino. Uh, another hole for the wrench. So everything is in its place and I don't need those uh, cabinets, those ca cases to carry the tools. Very efficient storage. So you can see that I've, I've uh, made use, good use of my vertical storage just in this cabinet alone. And I was able to throw out, uh, let's see, well, throw out three cases and repurpose two other cases. And I have, I have other uh, hand tool or power tools within cases that I'll be throwing those cases away soon too, because I have a few more of these cabinets that I'm converting into drawer-based cabinets. So, uh, you might want to think about that yourself. If, you, uh, if you're constrained for space, which I suspect uh, we all are, uh, consider making use of your vertical space. Even if you have existing shelves, um, build custom inserts into those shelves so that you can make use of all that empty vertical space and you'd be surprised how much more you can uh, stick in your workshop how much more tools we can all collect <laughs> to fill up that space i don't know maybe it's a maybe that's a, a reason not to do what i'm suggesting <laughs> so you don't uh, collect more stuff all right thanks for stopping by